good morning students and welcome to your english class i am your english teacher and as we discussed yesterday we started our new lesson which is the portrait of a lady as you can see it on your screen written by khushwan singh in today's class we will discuss again we will recapitulate about author and uh, the characters as well as the summary detailed summary line by line although the language of uh, this lesson is very easy i don't think there will be difficulty in understanding the lines or sentences for a reader or for students so let's start the portrait of a lady by khushwan singh so let's discuss about the author khushwan singh was an indian novelist he was a lawyer journalist as well as a politician he was born on february 2 1915 and his education he took his education in lahore and later on he went delhi for his higher education and then went london as indo anglian novelist he is best known for his humor and an abiding love of poetry he served as the editor of several literary and news magazines as well as as well as two uh, newspapers he worked for two newspapers also and uh, he is known for his cartoon uh, thing uh, cartoon works also so among his creations if we discuss there are his famous books uh, like history of six and one of his novel which is famous is a train to pakistan the legendary writer read uh, died on 20th march 2014 at the age of 99 so as uh, it is demonstrated with the title the portrait of a lady portrait basically is a, a picture which is framed or we other in the other way if we talk about portrait portrait means a photograph or a portrait can also be taken as a painted or photographed picture of someone right so this is how uh, the portrait of lady shows written by kushwan singh so uh, as you can see on the screen something is written like notice these expression in the text infer their meaning from the text only so there are few expressions given to you for understanding and these uh, phrases or these expressions have come in between the lesson like the thought was almost revolting an expanse of pure white serenity a turning point accepted her seclusion with resignation a veritable bedlam of chirping frivolous rebukes the saging skin of dilapidated drum so such types of expressions have been used to make the line beautiful to make uh, the lesson more interesting for readers so let's start the poet starts uh, with uh, with his grandmother he says my grandmother like everybody's grandmother was an old woman like every other's grandmother author's mother uh, grandmother was one of them she had been old wrinkled for 20 years that i had known her means the time author grew up as well as when he become mature he did not see much changes <clears throat> in his grandmother who looks to be old and wrinkled even 20 years back even today when Paul, author see uh, author sees him she looks around that old people said that she had once been young and pretty and ha even had a husband but that was hard to believe just to make a humorous Uh, the uh, author is saying that she could have a husband my grandfather's portrait hung above the mantel piece in the drawing room he wore a big turban loose fitting clothes so here the, in these lines the, the author is talking about the portrait of his grandfather like how does he, the author's grandfather look like his father looked uh, like he is wearing a big turban who has long 
uh, white beard that covered the best part of his chest and he looked at least 100 years old so in these uh, few lines the the uh, like author is talking about grandfather's portrait who is uh, hanging above the fireplace uh, in the drawing room and he how does that look like so he is giving the portrait of it saying he wore a turban and he is wearing uh, he was wearing loose fitting clothes his long white beard covered the best part of his chest and he looked at least 100 years old to the author he did not look to sort of person who would have a wife or children he looked as if he could only have lots and lots of grandchildren it means to make it again this is a humorous line because he is saying that grandfather was old at in the photograph and even it doesn't look that he must be young at times so he must be having lot of and lots of grandchildren only so he looks that old to the author now in coming few lines author is talking about grandmother as for my grandmother being young and pretty the thought was almost revolting like the idea the thought the the thoughts which are coming to the author of being her gra grandmother being young and pretty makes him revolting the meaning of revolting is hard to believe it's difficult to accept right although its uh, other meaning is disgusting but we can't set that word here that is why we are saying it is hard to believe hard or it is difficult to accept that author's grandmother can be once a young and pretty woman she often told us of the games she used to play as a child so grandmother used to share the old story uh, her uh, childhood with the author saying that she used to play games but it was also hard uh, to it was also difficult to believe for the author that seemed quite absurd and undignified on her part since grandmother looks very old so it is difficult for the author to accept that she must be uh, she must have played the game in her childhood and that looks so absurd so awkward and undignified to the author right and we treated it like the fables of prophets she used to tell us and they did, did uh, the author uh, did not used to uh, take it so seriously and he used to treat the stories the of the childhood of grandmother told to the author as the fables of the prophets prophets are the uh, priest in the church maybe in the temples those are called prophets so they used to tell the fables fables are called the stories uh, old stories with a moral are called fables so uh, he used to take it that uh, they used to tell the stories of it and she had always been short and fat and slightly bent and she used she how does now in the in this paragraph uh, the author is talking about the lookings of like how does or uh, the author's grandmother looks like she has always been short and fat and slightly bent so uh, author's grandmother is short fat and slightly bent her face was a criss cross of wrinkles running from everywhere to everywhere it means uh, grandmother's face was all uh, full of wrinkles he she had wrinkles all over her face she had always been as we had uh, she has always been as uh, we had seen her so we we known her so here it is saying that uh, since uh, the author grew up he did not see change in her he, uh, the author saw grandmother as it is right old so terribly that that she could not have grown older so he says she cannot be much older than what she is today and stayed at at the same age for 20 years means from last 20 years the author is looking the same grandmother without any changes and she could never have been pretty but she was always beautiful here he is um, making uh, uh, like a satire he is saying that she could never been pretty because um, the author uh, saw uh, saw his grandmother old that is why he is saying she must not be pretty 
but because she has beautiful heart and she keeps on praying the god she has beautiful heart in her so she is always beautiful but not pretty so she hobbled about the house in spotless white with one hand resting on her waist to balance her stoop and the other telling the beads of her rosary now how does she used to <coughs> spend so she hobbled about the house means she keeps on moving hobble about means walk unsteadily means she if she it was difficult for her to walk because she was old so she used to walk unsteadily and slowly in the house in the spotless white it means she used to wear white clothes and clear white clothes that's why it's a, it is said spotless white right she used to wear white clothes and she used to hobble or walk unsteadily in the house with one hand keeping on her waist to balance her stoop means to balance her uh, because she was little bent down to balance Uh, herself she used to keep one hand on the back and the other hand she used to beat the beads of, for, of of her rosary so she used to beat the rosaries means uh, she had one uh, um, uh, a beads um, neck uh, mala we can say in hindi but she had rosary which she keeps on moving you must have seen some of the people they have a rosaries in hand and they keeps on uh, changing the beads of it one on one by taking name of god so this is how she used to keep on beads the beads of her rosary her silver locks were scattered untidily over her pale puckered face and her lips constantly moved in inaudible prayers here the author is saying that uh, her mother's hairs looked uh, silver locks so she had curly hairs which were silver means which were gray because of age was scattered were lying here and there on her pale means white face puckered face right puckered means wrinkled face it was there on the wrinkled face here and there and her lips are constantly moving what uh, what she is reciting she is reciting inaudible prayers yes she was beautiful that is why the poet the author says her grandmother to be beautiful because she used to <coughs> she used to uh, speak or she used to recite some inaudible prayers all the times which one cannot listen inaudible means one cannot listen but can see the movement of the lips yes she was beautiful she was like winter landscape in the mountains this line is simile here the author is comparing uh, his grandmother to the winter landscape in mountains when you see the winter time the landscape of the mountain looks beautiful and peaceful uh, with the white fog and uh, the beauty of the nature so that is why it says that she likes a winter landscape in the mountains then he calls her a, an expanse of pure white serenity breathing peace and contentment Ho here also comparing the expanse the wider spreadness of pure white serenity means calmness serenity means calmness one who is so calm breathing peace and contentment she is the idol of peace and of contentment means who is satisfied from her life so she looks like that to the author now in the next paragraph my grandmother and i were good friends my parents left me with her when they went to live in the city and we were constantly together so the bond begins when uh, author author's parents leave author with the grandmother and grandmother and the i i here is for author so author and grandmother they were good friends and parents left them so he has to live because parent went to live in city and were constantly together so since then far parents were outside so grandmother and grand uh, son were enjoying their friendship she used to wake me up in the morning and get me ready for school she said her morning prayers in monotonous sing song while she bathed and dressed me in the hope that i would listen to get to know it by heart so she used to sing some prayers 
she used to sing those prayers in monotonous means without any change in the same uh, constant way sing song while she used to bath the uh, author and she used to dress him up she used to expect that when she will recite these prayers the author will listen and will learn it by heart i listened it because i loved her voice although the author used to listen those audible prayers sang by grandmother but he never bothered to learn it because he loves to listen those prayers from grandmother but he never uh, think of remembering it at all then she would fetch my wooden slate which she had already washed and plastered with yellow chalk a tiny earthen ink pot and a red pen tie them all in a bundle and hand it to me so in the olden times uh, there were no in, uh, like uh, notebooks used for education purpose so the primary education was given based on a uh, was given based on the uh, plaster they 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 used to be a, a wooden uh, slate and that slate was always uh, cleared with the uh, yellow chalk when it is uh, wet and it is uh, cleared with it and next day for the next day and they used to have some small uh, ink pots and they have they used to have pens and they used to write it and next day they used to cl uh, clean it again and used to take it to schools so this was the in in olden uh, olden times means it's around uh, Uh, be before the freedom or af even after till 1950 around people used to have these kind of uh, wooden slates and uh, they used to clear it with uh, yellow chalks and all right but later on as uh, the notebooks were introduced in the schools and um, uh, uh, around the cities so it came into existence even in villages after breakfast uh, th after a breakfast of thick stale chapati with a little butter and sugar spread on it we went to school so after breakfast what do they used to have in breakfast thick stale chapati with a little butter and sugar spread on it so uh, grandmother used to give him stale chapatis with butter and sugar and they, he used to have it as his breakfast we went to school she she carried several stale chapatis with her to for the village dogs so after they having their uh, breakfast they used to go to school and while going to school grandmother used to carry some stale chapatis for the stray dogs in the village my grandmother always went to school with me because i'm i'm just making it um ha My grandmother always went to school with me because the school was attached to temple. So uh, both her, both my grandson and grandmother used to go to they used to go to uh, school together because school was attached to temple. So the priest taught us the alphabets and the morning prayer. So there was priest who used to teach them alphabets and the prayers. while the children sat in rows in either side of the veranda singing the alphabet or the prayer in chorus my grandmother sat inside reading the scriptures so what grandmother used to do she used to sit inside and used to read the holy scriptures whereas these children who are in the school they used to recite their alphabet taught by the priest when the school gets over when we had both finished when the school is over and they finished up with their alphabets and scriptures they would walk back together and this time the village dog would meet us so it was daily routine it, it demonstrates that it, it it was their daily routine to go uh, back home and the dogs used to follow them so the time dogs would meet us at temple door and they followed us to our home growling and fighting with each other so they used to be with them and they used to uh, try to say something uh, growling means to try to say something slowly so they used to growl and they used to fight sometimes for the chapatis given by grandmother and they used to follow them from temple to home so this was their daily routine so this is how the uh, good uh, relationship 
they were enjoying as grandson and grand mother now the turning point comes in this paragraph saying when my parents were comfortably settled in the city they sent for us so that was the time when parents sent the message for them and it was the turning point and they sent for us it means they sent invitation for us to come back to city when the parents were settled so they called uh, their so they called both of them means grandson and grandmother to city to settle down so when they come to city that was a turning point in our friendship so their friendship uh, had some turning point means some toils in that although she shared the same room my grandmother no longer came to school with me but what was snapped what was uh, broken what what uh, how it has been uh, the turning point because in the village both used to go together to school as well as mother used to go to temple and they used to come back together so they used to spend good time but here uh, grandmother and grandson do, both are living in same room but grandmother stays at home she cannot go to school with author i it means author author used to go to an english school in a motor bus now he used to go in the bus to the school and it was an english medium school there was no, there were no dogs in the streets and she shook as uh, she took to feeding sparrows in the courtyard of our city house now as there were no dogs and because she could not go outside now she stopped eat, uh, giving food to dogs but she started feeding sparrows in her courtyard of city house so she made uh, she start feeding sparrows at place of dogs because she could not go outside so she started feeding sparrows in her courtyard as years rolled by we saw less of each other it means uh, from this paragraph he is talking about that uh, the poet has uh, grown up the author i am sorry uh, the author had grown up and uh, as he had grown up so they have uh, they have they have less uh, talking they had less uh, interaction with each other right so the years rolled by and we saw